So this is a remote controlled mouse for cats. But my cats just aren't interested. However, seven year old Jason has sent us his idea for the ultimate robot mouse for cats. And that's what we're building. Kids invent stuff. To bring to life Jason's invention, we'll need to create the body of a mouse that we can mount onto a motorized platform so it can drive around. And to make it extra entertaining for cats, we're going to build in a motorized cat treat dispenser with a rotating screw auger, so the mouse can poop out tasty treats. And we'll make the robo mouse squeak just like on Jason's drawing. So for Jason's invention, we have a tracked robot chassis, which is very similar to the one we used for our remote firing TV launcher robot. And the plan is to turn this into a rather large giant robot mouse. Large using, and sloppy. Using this fake fur. So the cats will find it appealing and hopefully want to chase it. And even if they don't find it appealing, this thing is going to poop cat biscuits. It's going to be amazing. Okay, so we've got a vague plan for how we're going to make our giant robot mouse poop out cat treats or cat biscuits. And the plan is we're going to get them to go somehow into the top of this pipe. And then we've got this thing, which is an auger. So it's like a giant attachment for a drill, uh, for drilling holes in the ground. So we're going to use that inside the pipe. The treat's going to come in the top of the pipe. This is going to rotate with a motor and hopefully feed the treats along the pipe out of this end where we're going to have another motor spinning really fast that's going to flick the treats and fling them all over the place. So as part of our cat treat dispensing mechanism, we have got this little... Flicky brush thing. Brush thing. Highly technical term. <laughs> This flicky brush thing, which is attached to a motor. And we have here a speed controller so we can make it go faster or slower. And all of this is powered by a battery. And the plan is to see if we can get some cat treats, some cat biscuits, and feed them into here to see if we can flick it so this can go inside the body of our robot mouse. What could possibly go wrong? How fast do we want to go? Ah! We're not that fast, slightly slower to start. And then get faster. Yeah, let's give it a try. Yeah. I mean, that's like a gentle day in the park, isn't it? Oh! This is going to be the fastest pooping robot mouse in the world. It's pooping! Go, go. Hello. There's an important job to do, Luna. <laughs> Every workshop needs a cleaner. and poop dispenser that's going inside our mouse and we've added this little hopper so we can pour in the cat treats here and then once everything's switched off they should hopefully fly out the end there it's loaded definitely pooping So Jason wanted his giant robot mouse to squeak because he knows every pet loves a squeaker. So we thought, how could we include this in? Now we could have used a speaker, but the real thing is so much more fun. And we've ordered quite a few of these. So we thought we'd have a go at doing it manually. So we've added an attachment to our cat food feeding motor, which as it goes over the squeaker, it sets it off. Luna is loving this. So Whoa. normally when you have mechanical mechanisms, you don't want them to squeak. You try and stop them squeaking. We've made one that squeaks. We ordered so many, I've made a little squeaker piano to serenade Luna. Oh Luna! What's Ruth doing down here? What's Ruth, are you, are you using the Henry Hoover to bend 
pieces of steel. We are so professional. Oh. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> the future of fabrication is now. I feel like the Hulk. I literally am like, ah! <laughs> ah! Beautiful. Beautiful. Hello lovely people, so, Ruth. Right. Oh, so I want to say a massive thank you to our amazing patrons who support us on Patreon. If you, I've written if, a song. It's a beautiful song, thank you. If you would like to help us to bring to life bigger and better kids' inventions and more kids' inventions, then you can support us on Patreon via the link on the screen below. Thank you so much for all your amazing support, Ruth. Thank you. I've written you a song. Thank you, beautiful. wonderful patrons. We welded a lovely mouse. Now Ruth's filling it with duct tape. Ruth's filling it with duct tape. Look at it. <laughs> You know when you start something you think, hmm, didn't really see the build going that way. So the plan is we've got the sticky side of our duct tape here. Hopefully all the like padding will stick onto the duct tape and then we can put the fur over it and it'll make it nice and squidgy. But before we do that, we need to tape a mouse. We have our sticky mouse. <laughs> It's so sticky. It's like we wrapped a parcel wrong. <laughs> the wrong way around. So we bought some soft toy stuffing for the mouse, but we may possibly have bought too much of it. I think it's larger than the mouse and we only need a little bit. Beautiful. Such mm. precision, Fine. Sean. It's we made a cloud. The big fluffy sheep cloud mouse. got a furry, furry skin for a giant mouse. Tuck it in nice and snug around its bottom. It looks like a giant slug. Yeah! <laughs> Where's Sean coming from? Oh! Oh, such a beautiful job. I thought we said after the sofa we weren't doing any more upholstering. <laughs> Time to give the mouse some ears. Ears, little furry ears. Oh, what's that beautiful mechanism you're using, Sean, to put that... It's the uh, ear attachment. Cool. <laughs> the hot glue gun's got so furry. <laughs> ah. Oh, it's becoming a real thing. I'm a real mouse. Ruth knows. She knows. Oh, look how cute it is. Just so cute. It's so big. <laughs> it's big. <laughs> Cats are going to be terrified of you this. Know that thing with the dinosaur where we were like, hmm, we should maybe. Double check our measurements next time. A robot mouse needs robot mouse eyes. Ah. So inquisitive. Okay, so you might be looking at our giant robot mouse and thinking cats are gonna hate it. It's bigger than a cat itself. It's probably gonna scare them. Now that might be the case, but with the combination of the cat treats it's gonna poop and this, which is the strongest catnip money can buy, we think we might be able to make our mouse it's a little bit more appealing to cats. You hide that catnip inside that mouth, Ruth. Stash it in there. Battery! Every robot mouse needs an aerial for a tail. Slightly worrying how much cat food this <laughs> mouse will take as it's likely to end up all over my front room. So Jason's robo mouse is ready. And it's loaded with cat biscuits. It's time to see what cats think of it. Robo mouse is coming and we'll meet your cat today. Robo Mouse is rolling and will feed your cat today. Robo, robot, robo, robot, robo, robot, robo, robot, robo, robot, robo, robot, mouse, 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 mouse. Ain't you like it? Robo Mouse is coming and will meet your cat today. Robo Mouse is rolling and will feed your cat today. 
robot, 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 Time to see what they think of it driving around. Don't need any cheese, just wasn't about to raise to make this mouse go zoom, zoom, zoom. Don't need any cheese, just wasn't about to raise to make this mouse patrol your house and poop out to reach. One very confused cat. Robo Mouse is coming and will meet your cat today. Robo Mouse is rolling and will feed your cat today. Robo Robot, Robo Robot, Robo Robot, Robo Robot, Robo Robot, Robo Robot, Mouse, 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 Mouse. Don't need any cheese to surprise the batteries to make this mouth go zoom, zoom, zoom. Don't need any cheese to surprise the batteries to make this mouth control your house and boom. Robo Mouse is coming and will feed your dog today. Robo Mouse is rolling and will feed your dog today. Luna is having the best time. Robo Robot, Robo Robot, Robo Robot, Mouse, 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 Mouse. Robo Mouse is coming and will meet your dog today. Robo Mouse is rolling and will feed your dog today. Crushed into the camera. All I can say is I'm very thankful we went for dry cat biscuits rather than wet cat food. Could you imagine? So much cat food. <laughs> So we think it's fair to say that Jason's robot mouse was pretty much a success. I'm not sure the cats knew quite what to do with it when it first arrived, but they seemed to come round to it and Luna loved it. Jason, thank you so much for your amazing invention. We have absolutely loved building it and testing it out. And if you know of any kids whose invention should be brought to life, send them to our website. Which will appear on the screen below. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.